Hey, hello, hello, and welcome to uh, another edition of Chris, Eye of the Storm Taylor, uh, playing Star Trek Online again. Uh, kind of, you know, last week was a bit of Witcher Week, this, day, this week is going to be Star Trek Online. Uh, the plan is to kind of, um, it was originally to, to, uh, to plan every day this week, <coughs> play every day this week even. However, um, the desktop PC is going in for a bit of a service on Thursday. Basically, I built this rig myself. Got a really nice NZXT, yeah, NZXT <laughs> um, case. Nice motherboard processor, graphic card, and everything, but it works. <clears throat> Not very pretty. I mean, the, the the if you looked at the cabling in there, that would be it would. It looks like an explosion in the spaghetti factory. Uh, so, taking it to a professional for a bit of a clean, uh, I may have accidentally um, maybe pulled out a wire or two from the case. So, a couple of the case connections aren't working. So, I'm taking it to professionals and they're going to give it a proper clean, get things working again. So, that means I might be back on Friday. All things going well. I will have the PC back on Friday. Uh, so I'll be back Friday evening. So fingers crossed that um, they don't find anything serious. Um, so yeah, hopefully back on Friday. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Missing Thursday, back on Friday. So that's the plan so far. Uh, so yes, hello, how are you? Sorry, I keep glancing over there. I've got another screen with everything on because I need this this big one here uh, for me to play our games on. Um, so, yes, how are you? Hope you're having a good week. Um, hope you're all staying safe. Um, and things have been too bad. Um, I know the, the world is a bit of a shit show right now, but, you know, it's it's all about looking after yourselves, looking after each other, staying safe because it's not just for you. Uh, COVID is also a danger to friends and family, especially those who are vulnerable, especially those who are elderly. Um, so please, 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 please stay safe and, you know, take care of the people who need to take, be taken care of. So now, oh, by the way, Black Lives Matter. I, you know, there's, there's no, there's no ambiguity in that. Black Lives Matter. Okay, we good. Um. So yes. On to tonight. Let me get my badge. See, I'm not sure if you could see it yesterday. So there we go. Ah. I tried to have it on camera, but I wasn't sure if it was actually fully there. Let me have a look. There we go. Uh, not charged at the moment, but um, as soon as, as soon as I start getting a bit more organised, I'm going to be having my my little Star Trek badge on, which works, which is cool. It's actually a little Bluetooth speaker and uh, microphone stuff, and it chirps when you get a message. Right. Anyway, <laughs> Trekky, uh, actually all around geek. You know, I like sci-fi. I like fantasy. I like. I like that whole thing of escaping into strange new worlds. Um, so, speaking of strange new worlds, like that segue, Star Trek Online. So, yesterday, uh, started the adventures of Turnock. Um, if you don't understand Irish, find an Irish speaker, and they will uh, they will tell you what that means. Um, I'm English. And my Irish is terrible. Um, you know, for example, I could say, Cape Mila Vulture. Here you go. That's a good one. Connoisseur uh, uh, Another one. Um, I'm kind of running out at this point. You know, I, I don't even know the, please teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Which, you know, is, is a hilarious one for, for native Irish speakers. Um, <laughs> so... Yes, Star Trek Online started the adventures of Turnock on the planet of Virinat, a Romulan colony that 
was rebuilding that had rebuilt itself after the destruction of Romulus and Remus from the Hobus supernova. Um, the plot lines are looked at in a bit more detail in the Star Trek Picard series, and they appeared in the J.J. Abrams Star Trek. I love Star Trek. Please, I beg you, if you're ever thinking of taking a beloved old series, film, whatever, don't give it to J.J. Abrams. I beg you. I beg you. It, it's... Ugh. Um, If you think, you know, he'll bring it a bit of money, he'll bring it a bit of money to begin with, because it's like, oh, yes, yeah, all shiny new. Then you will lose... I mean, lose a lot of fans and a lot of the people who've been keeping you going for years because the man doesn't understand what he's doing. He kind of goes, oh, yes, I like that. Well, the fans seem to like this, this, this. I'll put this together in no way understanding any of the background, any of the you know reasons why those things are important and just throw them in with special effects. Yay! He, he, he's like the Michael Bay of directors and producers. You know, it's all flashy, but there's no substance. There is no substance. Please, 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 I beg you. Uh, anyway, uh, rant over. <clears throat> so yeah, um, oh yes, the destruction of Romulus and Remus from the Hobus supernova. Um, it's led to many led to many refugees from the Romulan Star Empire uh, heading out and just trying to survive. Now, at the height of the uh, festival, it was held every year in Virenet, where the Romulan ale and the 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 Kellid nectar wine has been brewed. The fireworks begin but they were marred by the attack of an unknown species. Now, luckily, Turnok, Tovankev, and a few other colonists managed to survive thanks to some great tactical thinking and the sacrifice of others. And we were told that the alien race were a species called the Alachi, by a member of the Tal Shiar called Hakiv, who was very much willing to blow us up in the small itty bitty pieces until members of the Romulan Republic came to our aid. We chased them off, and now we're at the flotilla who have just agreed to join the Romulan Republic and fight for the freedom of Romulus, Romulans. So let's get back into the game. Let's start this up. And um, yeah, we've got a uniform, ships being repaired. Um, go need, need to go see the uniform, well, need to go put the uniform on, uh, see how the ship repairs are coming on. And yeah, they said, oh, do a bit of customization. We're like, oh, yeah, let's have a look what we can do. So I'm just going to hit engage. And are you there? Are you there? Are you there, Star Trek? Come on. There we go. Um, if you're a veteran of Star Trek Online, it's all it's also worth checking out that um, as you saw, Star Trek House Divided is the new update. That set several months in the future from this current timeline and yeah intrigue klingons stuff is happening uh return of robert o'reilly who played uh gowron uh voicing a new character in the game and jg hertzler who as you may recall was the voice of martok so worth checking those out uh so here we go turnock uh, this is the legacy of the RRW Duranus. 
Let's go. Okay, here we are. We've just been speaking to Commander Tamir. Greetings. I hope all is going well with you. So what should I do now? Step into the hall, turn left and take the turbo lift back to the transporter room. Once you're down there, look for the tailor. I've already authorized you for a uniform change. After that, you should look for the ship tailor and customize your warbird. Once you're satisfied, I'd suggest looking for Datan. Okay. Greetings. Okay, down the corridor. Oh, yep, yeah, being directed. Here we go. Use to the left. Uh, speak to Lieutenant uh, Delathan to customize your outfit. So, oh, there we go. It's a big ship, so I'm using the run button. Uh, are you the tech? No, you're not the tailor. Chief Medical Officer. Okay, right. Assignment Officer. Okay, mission difficulties and stuff. Cool. Ground logistics. Ooh, guns. Uh, commodities. That looks like a tailor. Yay! Customized clothing. Here we go. It's a pleasure to meet you, Turnock. Everyone here has heard about the RRW de Redas and what happened at your colony. I'm sorry you had to go through that. But that's what we're trying to stop. Some day, some day settlements like Viranac will be safe. I am a tailor, which means that I can alter your appearance and outfit, or those of your bridge officers. You can find other tailors in social areas. You've been authorised to receive this service. You can put on a new, new uniform now, if you want. Ready to try a new look? Yeah, let's give it a go. So first of all, I'm going to save that outfit and very quickly create a new one. Uh, engineer, no. Flotilla. One, two. Formal. Jim Hadar, no, not Jim Hadar. Rustic. Oh, I've already got that. Survivor Rugged. Uh, Survivor Warrior. Eng uh, back to Engineer. Yeah, let's go with this one. Flotilla. Republic of Romulan. Plight character. There we go. Standard Romulan Republic uniform. Anything else we can adjust? Uh, oh, yeah, wrist, Le left wrist. No, just go with that. Uh, standard Romulan Republic uniform. Uh, sash. No. Uh, arm attachments, pouches. Nah. Collar. Yeah, let's go with that again. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, all good, all good. So there we go, done. Let's go with that, done. So turn up, I'll rename this. Um, Republic uniform. There we go. Okie dokie. Let's quit that. Now, speak with Lieutenant Nala to customize your ship. Oh, hang on. Ooh, got, a, got a bit of mail. Ooh. Just close that up a bit. Zephyrin Crusher. Turnock. Recent events on Verinat have come to my attention. I am someone 
that you can say is very interested in galactic stability. As such, I have authorised the transfer of several items, energy credits, and dilithium crystals to help with your cause. I trust that you will use them wisely, and may I suggest that you use the crystals to obtain a new ship. The one you, cur you have currently is a little... dated. Joel untrue, and please take this however you like. We will be watching. Z. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's not in any way ominous at all. Um, so, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look at these items. Uh, observation deck. You, mail, bank. There we go. Bank. Ooh, shinies. So, what do we have here? Plasma jewel pistols. Very nice. Dual heavy cannons, Ooh, three sets. Uh, turrets, plasma torpedo launcher, plasma infuser, neutronium alloy stealth module, uh, tactical kit, energy dampening armor, personal shield, shield arrays. Cool, I like this guy. Whoever he is. Incoming healing, such train experience for you. Let me just uh, let me just take those. Let me just like you know, very happily say thank you very much, Mr. Z, or Mrs. Z, or Ms. Z, or just Z, whatever you like to be called. Thank you, thank you for these lovely items. Uh, so energy dampening armor, yeah, that goes there. Yes, I would like. I would like to keep that, please. I'd like to keep that as well. Um, tactical kit, yeah, go with that. And dual pistols. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 kind of they're they're kind of better. And. Increased run speed as well. Nice. So, that, wow, cool assets. What? One million energy credits and twenty-five thousand refined dilithium. I might have to have a word with somebody about, like, you know, bank security around here. But uh, yeah, thank, thank you, thank you, Z. Oh, no, hang on. I didn't get changed, did I? Uh, where are that? There we go. Exit. Hang on, let me get to the light here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that look. Dual pistols on the, on the hips. Nice. All right, skills, let me just change this a bit. Put that there, because it's not a, uh, it's not a fighty skill, it's a buff. Um, customize ship. Requisition equipment. Don't need to do that. Okay, acquire ship. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so that's what we've currently got. So that's this warbird. Uh, Kestrel runabout. Look at all those. Ooh, Scorpion fighter. Tavaro light warbird. Yes, can totally afford one of those. Uh, Universal singularity stable. Your singularity stable would immediately bring an offline singularity meter back online. Nice. Yes, I would buy. Tavaro Light Warbird. The R.O.W. Vison. Okay. Uh, let, me just, let me just get into my ship. Yeah, hello you. Yeah. I'll have that one instead. Thank you. Because 
customize. Welcome to the flotilla, Lieutenant. I'm a ship tailor. I can help you change the interior and exterior appearance of your ship. There are other ship tailors in social areas who can do the same thing for you at any time in the future. While the Republic doesn't have a better starship for you yet, it's okay. Just got one. I can help you change the look of the RW visor at this time. A bit of paint might give the old warbird a whole new look. Sure. Ah, yeah, so. Yeah, I, I don't have. Yeah, I can't afford that. Uh, so that's the old one. That'd be the refit. Tavaro, there we go. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it. It's going for Tavaro. Tavaro, Tavaro. Uh, Interior, Romulan. Yeah, I'll stick with that. Windows. Yeah, let's go for. Let's go for type type ones, I like those. Uh, material, aged Romulan, Mi oh mirror, Riemann Riemann, Romulan flate, like that one. Type zero, oh that's nice as well. Oh, so hang on, Roman of, oh yeah, Ro ah, no, <laughs> can't have that one, upgrade, no, can't have that one either, Tavaro can have, uh, that one's very nice, nope, can't have that one, nope, hey, right, so I can have that one, Oh yeah, oh no, no, can't have shiny, not allowed shiny. So Tavaro. I don't know, I kind of, I kind of like Riemann type one. That's kind of funky. Yeah, I'll go for that one. Um, oh yeah, tactical. So, Aries, 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 colours, oh yeah, let's get some red, a bit of red on there, red and black, yeah, show them we mean business, yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Total cost zero. Fantastic. Apply changes. There we go. Done. <laughs> oh, well here. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, let, let me just take out some of this stuff. So, rapid, rapid. Tell you what, I'll go with rapid. Rapid there. A oh, pen there. Uh, definitely new. Plasma torpedo launcher. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Right, what's this? <coughs> Singularity stabilizer. So, tell you what, I'll put that there. I'll have one of these tactical plasma infusers uh, neutronium alloy yeah damage resistance rating I'll go for that stealth module oh yeah hard to detect shield engine Buys 50% yeah definitely yeah go with that and yeah tachyon deflector array uh, right, uh, standard issue, um, yeah, thank you for the standard issue stuff, but um, I'm going to go with 
all the stuff that I've just been given by my mysterious benefactor. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll probably sell that. Uh, got all that. I'll tell you what. Tovan. Here. You can have the standard issue stuff. And that's standard issue plasma beam pistol. You can have that one. You, you can have you can have that. Right. Cool. Yeah, we are good. Fantastic. Hey, Wendy HD. Hello. Hello. Let me go talk to Tatan. Hello again. Now that you're settling in, I wanted to speak with you about what our overall goals will be. First and foremost, we are looking for a new planet to call home. Tamer and his crew are handling that search. While the search continues, I am working on any possible alliances that we can make with the Federation and the Klingon Empire. We will need allies if we are to proceed. Your task will be the protection and recovery of other Romulans spread throughout this sector. Are there many other colonies? We are finding more by the day. Some have already joined us, but others do not believe in our cause. It will be up to you and your crew to protect these colonies from the Tal Shiar and to recruit anyone willing to assist us. Do you have any questions? If not, I would suggest you return to your ship. Tamer will have his orders ready for you. So will an alliance with the Federation and the Klingons work? I do not know. Our history of deception with both groups definitely does not help. The Tal Shiar, however, will not attack the fleet for now. Sela would see such a direct action as too great a risk. She much prefers to work in the shadows. Let me worry about our potential allies. While you're away, I will be working with diplomats from both sides to come to an agreement we can all live with. Hey, has Tamer found any suitable plans for us to colonize? Not yet. He and his crew have been assisting Romulan colonies throughout the region, and he has not been able to focus his efforts on the search. With you here, however, Tamer's mission to find a new homeworld can begin. He will be sending scout ships to analyze nearby planets. We'd prefer to find a suitable world in this sector, but we'll expand our search if we need to do so. Very well. I'll head back to my ship. Sounds like we've got our orders. If you're ready, I can beam you back to the ship. However, before that, I need to ask a favor. I have a sister. Her name is Rena Kev. She and I were separated a long time ago. I want to try to find her. As we're doing our missions, could you try to ask about Rena? Thanks. I'll do what I can, Tovan. Beam me back to the ship. Okay. Sector space. Oh, explore the front door. Hail to me. Use remote contact for personal mission menu. Here we go. All set to go, I trust. Good. There is a lot to do. Your first target is already under attack by the Tal Shiar. There's no time to lose. Right. Okay. Greetings. Congratulations. Oh. You just earned your first skill points. Click here to learn more. Skills will increase your effectiveness in both space combat and ground combat. Select any skill to see a full description of the benefits gained by purchasing it. Every space skill costs one space point to purchase, while every ground skill costs one ground point. You will earn one space point every level, and one ground point every five levels, until you reach level 50. For each skill purchased, you will earn progress in unlocked paths. Space skills have three paths corresponding to the engineering, science, or tactical categories, while ground skills have only a single unlocked path. Unlocks sometimes offer choices upon reaching certain milestones. They are also the primary means of learning to train your bridge officers in new abilities. You may select any unlock node to see what benefits it provides. 
Powerful abilities can be earned by spending 25 or more of your space points in a single category of skills. You will not be able to earn enough space or ground points to purchase everything available to you. You may change your skills by clicking the Retrain Skills button. Gold subscribers earn free respect tokens every rank, and additional respect tokens can be purchased via the C Store. Okay, right. Uh, what I think is shield capacity. Guns. Yeah. Give me, give me the guns. Uh, Rich officer training. I can train someone in cannon rapid fire three. Excellent. Ground skills. Weapon proficiency. Certainly weapon proficiency. So there we go. I can either train them in photon grenade or photon grenade. Yeah. Go with that. Cool. I have skills. We are being held by Republic Command, sir. They wish to congratulate you on your success. Eh? Hail to Mayor. Greetings. I have new orders for you. If we're going to have a chance at breaking away from Sila and the Tal Shiar, we need allies. There are a lot of little settlements like yours out there. We're in contact with some of them, but we're always reaching out to try to make new alliances. I've heard that a group of Romulans has taken up residence in a Sulaban Helix in the Beta Quadrant. I'd like you to visit them. Feel them out, help them if you can. But most of all, find out if they would be willing to join Datan in his search for a new homeworld. Proceed to the Helix, attempt to contact the Roman colonists. Kill. Cool. Get a new officer. Greetings. I oh. have new. I will take that. So, don't want to enter the flotilla. Where are we, Helix? Go to the Helix. Plot of course. There we go. So it's on autopilot. Ship is automatically flying at warp 5.56. Yeah, shouldn't be too long. While we're here, sort these skills out a bit. Uh, battery capacitor. Auxiliary power, cool. Battle cloak, okay. Singularity stabilizer, yep. Evasive maneuvers, oh, and more importantly, torpedoes high yield. Go with that. So while we're on the way, I can show you that dual cannons have a very Hang on, very slim arc. Just that at the front. Torpedo is much better. Plasma turret all wrapped, 360 degrees. So once we get into a system, uh, that'll become important when we get into a fight. Go. A lovely new ship. Lovely, lovely. Sullivan Helix system. In the helix. Oh, hang on. The system contains the remnants of a massive space station once used by the Suliban Cabal. Abandoned in the mid 22nd century, the helix was once made up of hundreds of cell ships around a central core and was capable of housing at least 3,000 people. Only a few depowered cell ships remain at the station, which has become a little more than a historical curiosity. We've arrived at the Helix, but we're not the only ship here. A tall Shi'ar warbird is approaching from the direction of the primary structure. They haven't raised shields yet, but their weapons are online. Wait, they're hailing us. Your orders? Yeah, it sounds the hail. To the person in command, be advised. 
You are in violation of Tal Shiar Security Order 63-R. Your vessel is operating in this area without authorization. Identify yourself immediately, or your actions will be considered hostile. You don't want that kind of trouble. What authority could you possibly have out here? The Tal Shiar has the authority to track down terrorists that threaten the Romulan Star Empire, no matter where they try to hide. And don't bother with deception. Our records indicate a warbird with your ship's designation was decommissioned years ago. We've already identified you. Stealing military property is a serious crime. Care to explain, Commander? Yeah, close channel race shields. Okay, but go down that path. Gotcha. Yeah. It was a boring conversation anyway. Yeah, let's, um, let's reach out to these people. We plead for mercy. There are only civilians on the Helix. We don't have much more than we can scavenge from the cell ships. As we told the other Tal Shiar, there are no terrorists here. The Cabal are long gone. Take whatever scrap you need, but please stop taking our people. We're not here to rob you. Then why are you here? We don't have much to trade, and we don't want any trouble. We're looking for Romulan refugees. There are a few Romulan refugees hiding within the Helix. They said they needed temporary shelter and would be leaving soon. We meant no harm. How were we to know they are wanted terrorists? Please just take them with you and go. We're not with the Tal Shiar. Your actions speak for your true goals. If you help us by repairing the Helix arm structures, then we'll help you get the refugees to your ship. But hurry, we're in jeopardy every moment you remain here. We're on our way. Okay, let's go fix this Helix arm. Tovan, so bring the tractor beam online. More Tal Shiar have entered the system. Please help us. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be much trouble. on beta one more to go as soon as Delta is connected we can negotiate a transfer who's Delta ah oh, here it is Our ships are entering the area. Yeah. I 
I doubt they're gonna last much longer than the Patriots from earlier. centralized location so you can get a transporter lock we've explained the situation to them but a representative for the group is asking to speak with you on screen Kayan informs me that we're being transported to your vessel we realize that we can't stay on the helix but we have no intention of being forced into servitude the tall Shi'ar already destroyed our home all we want is for you to leave us on an uninhabited world or some place we can hide and try to rebuild our lives. You'll be safe with Zatan. You have my word. We've heard of Zatan. We've also heard rumors that he's plotting a revolt against the Tal Shar. Going to him sounds more dangerous than staying here. Would you rather stay and be captured? I know I'm out of options. That doesn't mean I have to like it. I don't know why the Tal Shar are abducting our families. But we can't afford to lose anyone else. How about I make you a deal? You personally guarantee that my friends will be safe at Tatan's fleet, and I'll work for you. I've served as a science officer on multiple civilian vessels. I can help you. I just... I can't run anymore. If I need to fight the Tal Shiar to keep my friends safe, that's what I'll do. Is there a woman named... Rina Kev on board. Rina Kev? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Thank you. Prepare to be on board. All the refugees are aboard, but there's more trouble. A tall Shi'ar battleship, the IRW Koval, has entered the system. They're hailing us, and they're asking for you by name. Remember, they're not here to be friends. On screen. You are ordered to stand down. You are wanted for questioning by the tall Shi'ar. Lower your shields and surrender your vessel and crew, or prepare to face the consequences. Yeah, we both know the answer. Your actions speak for themselves. You'll answer for the destruction you've caused today. Remember, you were given a chance to surrender. Close channel. Shields up. I recommend using our cloaking device to get close enough for a sneak attack. Just what I was thinking.
plasma shock right. Thank you for taking the refugees. Tell them we're sorry. We simply have no way to protect them. Hopefully they'll find refuge with your fleet. Our best hope now is to cooperate with the Tal Shi'ar and tell them that you have taken the refugees. Do what you have to do. We can't offer much, but I'll tell other Sulavan that Detan's fleet is standing up to the Tal Shi'ar. I'm also sending you the contact for a friendly local trader in case you need salvage or have goods to sell. But please, keep our involvement discreet. And please go. Leave now before more Tal Shiar arrive. Thank you, Kayan. Good luck to you. Kayan closed the channel. He's right. They'll be lucky if the Tal Shiar let them live. We should leave and report back to Tamer. Some of the refugees we brought aboard may have starship experience. If we're expecting more trouble, we'll need some help on the bridge. Okay. Plot of course. There we go. Hail to the air. We'll give the refugees a good home here. They'll be safe, and we'll do all we can to help them. This is just the start. We won't stop until we're on a new world, one of our own. So, stuff! Greetings. I have new orders for you. Okay, Sartre. Knock aboard. Crossroads at Crateris. Many Riemen settled on Crateris after the fallout from Shinzan's rebellion. While they were safe from the destruction of Romulus and Remus, Crateris is a bleak world with little in the way of habitable land. There are ample mineral deposits, which the Remans mine and sell for food and other necessities, but their lives there are harsh and unforgiving. Anyone who could survive on Crateris for as long as the Remans have, has strength. We could use that strength in our search for a homeworld, and I know the Remans have no love for the Tal Shi'ar. Go to Crateris, talk to the Remans, show them we are sincere and that we need their support. Okay. Proceed to the Crateris system in the Beta Quadrant. Attempt to contact the Riemann colonists there. Cool. Greetings. I have new orders for you. Accept. Set a course for Crateris. And I would say maximum warp, but... Warp 5.55. That'll definitely do. So yeah, while en route, um, I guess I can spend some skills, space skill points, so 25%, 42%, shield restoration, full restoration, yeah, let's up that weapon damage. How far to Crateris? Not too far. So there's the galaxy map. Sol system. Kronos. Crateris, Chapori, Flotilla. So it is full of. Um, Places from Star Trek lore, so you got Nimbus, there's the Romulus system, where it used to be. Um, as a sector. How are we doing? Nearly there. So there we go. And what's this? Call Sullivan Freighter. I'll leave that here. Oh, thank you, hazard emitters like those. They cleanse uh, plasma damage, so very useful indeed. A 
Tech Pet Alpha. Uh, thirty percent bonus damage, three percent critical chance, critical severity, and extra turn rate. Cool. Right. Craterus was the site of a failed Romulan colony. The Remans were relocated to this planet from Romulus and Remus in 2386. The Remans considered Craterus to be a vast improvement over Remus because the planet is in a captive rotation, allowing a hemisphere to stay in per perpetual twilight. The Tall Shi'ar are approaching Craterus, and they've already engaged a group of Reman vessels in orbit. The Remans are sending out a general distress call. We have to help them. Hell. Open a channel to the Decimus. The Decimus is too heavily damaged. They can't respond to our hails. They won't last much longer if we don't help them. Fresh shields, powder weapons. Let's get in the fight. Anyway, we'll follow your attack vector and provide support fire. Much appreciated. Desmus in bad shape. Thank you for your assistance. We're continuing emergency repairs, but most of our major systems are offline. The Talshiar sent detachments to the surface, and our colony is not responding to hails. With our transporters down and shuttle bay damaged, I cannot send a security team to investigate. The Tal Shiar have never been so bold. They plan to destroy your colony. How can you be so certain? It doesn't make sense. They've left us alone for years. What would they gain by destroying our home? We keep to ourselves and we do not challenge the Tal Shiar. With all due respect, we've seen this before. The Tal Shiar destroyed our colony on Viranat without warning. If we don't get your people off Craterus immediately, they'll be defenseless when the invasion force arrives. Tovan's telling the truth. Invasion force? We aren't in any position to begin an evacuation. The head of our fleet, Obisek, and most of our ships are on maneuvers out of the system. They can't possibly return in time. Until we re-establish communication with the colony, our priority must be to protect the people on the surface. Find Zidem. He will help you. He resides near the communication tower on the outskirts of the colony. If we re-establish communication, then we can formulate a plan. Don't worry. We'll find Zidane. Tovan's 
Toe on. Three to beam down. Oh, hang on. Sartre. You're going to need a personal sh uh, Hang on. Toe on. You can have that. Sartre will give you a better weapon. Oh, got those as well. Go to those equipped before we go down. Let's get to the surface. Knowledge. Oh, great. What are these things? What are those things? They don't look Romulan to me. Tell Shia. Are the tall shard doing this? Shot the back. Cowards. Picking up an alarm. Uh, picking up an anomaly over here. Go check it out. Exactly a priority. Whatever that is, I'll get it later. Stranger, I don't understand why this is happening. You're obviously not with the Tall Shar. Why are you here? What do you want? Commander Kai sent us to help you. Commander Kai, good. Follow me and then explain what's going on. We should get inside the security field before more Tall Shar arrive. We're right behind you. Follow me. to know more. It's clear that our colony is under attack, but why are the Tall Shar doing this? Why attack Krateris? What are they after? It's an invasion. They're taking Krateris. There's no reason for the Tall Shar to attack Krateris. We've been an established colony for over 23 years. We were given permission to settle here by Donatra. Why would the Tall Shar attack a colony of their own people? They didn't give a reason when they destroyed our colony on Viranet. So the rumors are true! I told you, Father. The Tal Shiar have declared war on our people. They're going to kill us! They seem more interested in abducting people. It doesn't make any sense. We aren't a threat to the Tal Shiar. What do they have to gain? They 
can't do this without anyone noticing. We'll worry about that later. You need to evacuate the colony now. Evacuate? We must inform the council. Who is going to listen to my order to evacuate? Obasek isn't here. He left Kai in charge. Why doesn't he give the order to evacuate? The Tal Shion knocked out communications. That explains a lot. When we couldn't reach anyone, Salamek said he was going to check on the transmitter. He hasn't come back yet. We should find him and see if we can get communications back online. Is there any other way to warn the rest of the colony? Without the transmitter, we'll have to start contacting colonists individually. The word will spread, but it will take some time. Obviously something is going on, but I'm not the one to order an evacuation. The fleet or the council should make that determination. Look, just start contacting, contacting everyone you can. We'll check on the transmitter. You'll need help. If you're going out to the transmitter, I'm going with you. Maybe we can find Slamic there. We appreciate the help, thank you. Farrell, you should stay here. Let these people handle this. We don't know the whole story yet. We need more information. We need to know what the Tall Shar want. At least stay behind the security field until we hear from the Council. Either way, we need to go now. Father, you can see what the Tal Shiar have done. These people need my help to get the transmitter working again. We'll take some weapons and armor before we leave. Don't worry, I can handle myself. Thank you, let's go. status or the status of your ship and bridge officers this is your character here you can see your equipped items and devices you can also view your ship's equipment equip your bridge officer by selecting them and then double clicking an item in your inventory okay Sartre you get some armor uh, Tovan what do you have Right. Yeah, let's give you a shotgun. Sartre, you can take the rifle. Both got things. Let's go. Oh, hang on. What have I got? Plasma full auto rifle. Uh, turbine. Yeah, you keep that. Yeah, you can have that. Let's go. More Tal Shiar. Oh, those drones. Sorry, we're going to need a new plan. Okay. Slavic, you're alive. Controls have been damaged beyond repair. Vera, you found me before those things did. I tried to repair the transmitter, but it was pointless. As you can see, the controls are completely destroyed. But it looks like you found some new friends. Can we bypass the transmitter controls? Didn't you hear me? The controls are destroyed. The transmitter is worthless. Yes, I heard you. Slomic, you're not helping. What if we set up a bypass relay? If it works, we might be able to control the transmitter dish from Zedent's shuttle. Or even our secondary console at home. Also try my tricord. It's possible, but I don't think it would work. We well, need to do something. Slamic! Try to set up a bypass relay for the control. If you can get it working, then we'll head back to my father and see if we can access the transmitter from there. We'll cover you. Where 
Where are those things coming from? I told you it probably wouldn't work. Let me try to contact Kai. That's not a good sign. We should go back to my father and see if he's heard any news. Agreed. Everyone follow me. Look up! We gotta get out of here now! Oh, great. What kind of ship is that? Run. We don't know. It attacked our colony on Viranat. And now they're attacking here. We need to warn other colonies. Believe it or not, that's what we're trying to do. Repair the primary transmitter. I set up a portable transmitter relay and gathered as many neighbors as I could. I'm glad you found Slamek. You need to evacuate immediately. I'm not going to argue. Our security field is down and the Tal Shar are attacking the colony. Hopefully, everyone who hasn't already heard the message will realize what's happening and evacuate. There are more people on the outskirts of town. If I can get them in, if I can get to them in the shuttle, I may be able to get them to safety. We can beat everyone here, up to our ship. Understood. Please, take Feral with you. I'll take Slamak with me to help scan for survivors. We'll rendezvous in orbit. Father, I should go with you. It took me weeks to repair the shuttle's drive system. If something goes wrong, you'll need me there. You'll be safer on their ship. Slamak can help me if we run into trouble. I'll broadcast the coordinates to every shuttle within range once we're in the air. Now go. We need to look for survivors. Okay. Come with me. Check out that anomalous reading I saw earlier. Our world is gone, but it will rise again. So the Raven civilians are safely on board. You've done everything you can down there. We could use your help back up here. More tell your ships are entering the system by the minute. And I don't think Decimus can hold them off for long. Two seconds. Decimus has engaged the Tall Shi'ar and is forming a wedge so we can get the shuttles to the beacon. The shuttles will be relying on us for protection. Without our help, they'll never make it out of here. 
Zidane's shuttle was one of the ones that made it to the ship. He's hailing us. Open a channel. We're in position and ready to make a run for the beacon. Is my daughter safe? She's aboard. She'll be safe. I'm making myself useful. The singularity core on this ship is practically an antique. I'm keeping an eye on the power levels to make sure we don't blow apart in combat. Don't forget to put all the shuttle's power into the shields. Don't worry, my child. It was the first thing Slamak did. When we reach the beacon, we'll await the signal to warp to the rendezvous point. Once we're all safe, you can transfer back to the shuttle. Set course for the beacon. range. Right. I need to 
just leave the area and come back in. We're reading there an unknown we ship near the beacon. It appears to be a battleship. If it attacks, our ships will be completely outmatched. Are you able to scan the vessel or determine its armaments? No, but we've seen similar ships before. They're emitting some sort of passive scanning field. We cannot get a weapons lock, and our singularity core power levels are fluctuating. I'm noticing the same power level variations. The field is definitely emanating from the enemy vessel. If I tap into the beacon's controls, I may be able to send a high-frequency proton burst that should disrupt the field long enough to get a weapons lock. Fire the burst on my mark. I've scanned the shuttle, sir. They've taken everyone. Everyone. Even my... Hell. Did we miss something? Logs show that a cruiser warped in during the fight with the battleship, stayed at long range, and then decloaked briefly. They warped away less than a minute later. Ugh, they must have taken the colonists from the shuttles <coughs> while we were in combat. I'm sorry, Beryl. We have to go after them. We need to track their trajectory and follow them. They could still be alive, and we can catch up if we hurry. Torvan, do we have any data on the heading? Nothing. There was too much interference from the battleship. I wish I had better news, but we have more pressing matters. The Decimus is hailing us, and we need to get out of this system while we still can. On screen. We're aware of the situation, but we have set a course for the rendezvous point immediately. There are other Remans there who will need our protection. After we regroup, we will have time to fully understand what has happened here, and to mourn our losses. Join Detan's fleet. We're stronger together. We appreciate the offer, but that isn't my call to make. I'll relay your offer to Obisek and the rest of the fleet. But for now, I think it would be best if we go our separate ways. When we understand more about what the Tal Shiar are after, perhaps that will change. Thank you for your help. I know you tried your best. Good luck, Commander. I don't need anyone's permission. I'm coming with you, and we're going to find my father. In the meantime, if you keep a ship this old from blowing apart at the seams, you're going to need an engineer. Good thing I'm here. Welcome aboard. I think we've done everything we can here. We should report what happened to Tamer. We can leave whenever you're ready. Take us to warp. We will reach out to the Remans, but it will be difficult to get over centuries of mistrust and abuse. Perhaps if this Obasek is willing to speak to us directly, it might make a difference. I know you did your best to help them, and that the attack could not have been anticipated. 
I'm very concerned about this sabotage you reported, however, and that the culprit was never found. The Remans may very well have a Tal Shiar operative in their midst. We will not win every battle, but we will win the war. Count on that. Jolan True. Jolan True. Greetings. I have new orders for you. Okay, welcome aboard, Varum. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, actually, I'm going to purchase some skills. <laughs> yeah, let's take that up. Torpedo damage. And yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Um, I'm going to refine this to lithium. Pick up some to lithium. And yeah, we will continue these adventures tomorrow evening when I'll doing small voices uh, for uh, Chordok and uh, other characters as necessary. Uh, so give me a second. There we go. So just like to say thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, Gaurav Mahogas. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow evening. Same bat chime. Fate, same bat time, same bat channel. Take it easy. Good night.